first, uh, good to be in Australian colours and how's the body talk? Yeah, um, yeah, it's great to be back again, uh, back in the colours and the body's, body's pretty good, so a couple of games with the Redbacks over last week and uh, I'm feeling reasonably good, yeah. I was just going to ask you with the workload and all that sort of stuff, how do you, do you think you've done enough to be ready for that next step up? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. I think uh, I've trained pretty hard leading into the, to the uh, big bash for sure. Um, got reasonably fit. Um, and obviously, a couple of cobwebs out of the last, last couple of games with the Sackers and um, pretty prime for Wednesday night. So, um, luckily, it's 2020, so the workload, you don't need too much of a workload. Yeah. Just on that, I mean, a lot of punters at home are going to go, as a quick bowl four overs, but can you give them some insight into how much you're doing the nets to, to be prime? You know? Yeah, obviously, you train close to every day. I mean, I, I don't usually train too hard. Day before a game, um, try and keep myself fresh, keep the body fresh. Um, every player is different, but um, yeah, we train all the time. You know, every every day there's a, there's a training session on, uh, whether it's the Redbacks or the Australian side. Um, and obviously, 2020 games that, that doesn't look that way, but it takes a lot out of you. You're always running in the field. That you know, obviously the crowd's going bananas, so there's you know, adrenaline through your body. And they do take quite a bit out of you. So um, it, although it's four overs, you're sort of you're busting your guts, you're doing 100 percent. Every sort of every ball you got to be sort of switched on, you know. So, yeah. And what about playing Tony in front of your home crowd for an international game? It's, it's always a bus. Yeah, I've done it a couple of times uh, with Australia. It's always a bus, definitely. Um, and, and for a 2020 game, I think it's the first 2020 in, in Adelaide for an international. Um, it's great for the home crowd. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting out there. Before, yeah. How much are these next two games an audition to get into the one day team with an eye to the World Cup? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I suppose. Um, I suppose I have to have some influence. But yeah, definitely. I think if I can, um, if I can sort of steam in bowl quick and, and, uh, and, and perform well, um, it's, it's not going to have my chances for the one day squad. Yeah. But is that is the World Cup pretty much like the next big thing on your agenda? Yeah, I definitely, definitely uh, think about the World Cup. Um, yeah, it'd be great to be in that squad. Uh, yeah, whether, whether, when that gets picked, I don't know. But all I can do until then is, is stay fit and, and bowl well. Yeah. And the ten, ten overs in a one day game. Yeah, well, last I mean, the last time I played for Australia, I played really well in one day, in the one day series in England. Um, before that, my lead up was 2020 cricket for two or three months before that, so um, I was actually quite fresh, and I got through those ten overs better than better than I have my whole career. So I'm not concerned about that at all. You know. And one day squad's getting uh, next tomorrow. Right, right. You have made that much show you? No, 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 I'm not sure what's, what, what the story is. I mean, there's seven. I think there's seven games against England, so. Um, through the course of the series, the team can change three times, um, as it has in the past, so you never know. I mean, whether I play two one day, or I play seven, or play none, I'm not, I'm not sure as yet. Yeah. Just on the IPL, um, all the talk around the country, do you watch it as a player that gets named nominated? Do you keep an active eye on the internet, or do you just go about your business? And... No, I kept an eye yesterday, uh, yeah, the last couple of days, for sure. Um, yeah, always, I think most players around the country, if they're, they're not busy around the world, will be watching, watching where they go. Yeah. And, and Tati, yeah, uh, big time. Here's on Dan Christian, that's for sure. Um, Dave Hussey and Cameron White, this team is all definitely buying dinner over the next few nights. So, um, yeah, you did really well, Dan. It's good. Yeah. Is there a bit of good natured ribbing about uh, the number that comes up next to you, Nuts? Um, yeah, yeah, of course, there's always a bit of banter. Um, yeah. I spoke to Dan after the auction, he was pretty happy, obviously. But um, to be honest, I mean, it's just the, the main concern is you want to know where your home is going to be for the next three years in India. So, I'm back at Rajasthan Royals, which is, I'm stoked about that. Um, obviously played with them last year and had a great time, so it's good to yeah. so three year deal? Uh, I believe so. I think so, yeah. How does it stack up? I mean, when you're way up, we always talk test cricket one day, it's 2020. What is, how does the IPL stack up in their previous career in regards to, like, not pecking or whatever, yeah. how you look at it? Oh, I, mean, I mean, everyone's different, of course. I mean, I mean, I haven't played a test match for two or three years now, three years. So, for me, the IPL is important. And, um, I mean, obviously, test, test match cricket is, is the main game, it's the pinnacle. But, Having played in the IPL last year, it was, it was definitely one of the best, best things I've done in my career, for sure. Um, the hype in India is something that's hard to explain unless, you, unless you're there and you see it. So it's, it's quite an amazing tournament. Yeah. And I guess for the younger guys in particular, there's not as much chance to socialise with the opposing teams these yeah. days, but there they're thrown in amongst blokes from all around yeah. the world, up and coming blokes, retired blokes. That must the be... Best thing, that's the best thing about the IPL, the, 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 the friendship you make and the, I suppose the experience you get off for other overseas players and, and experienced Indian players. Um, to mingle with them is such a unique tournament because of that. So um, you've got coaches from all over the world. Um, obviously, I saw Rajasthan's list for Raul Dravid this year as well. So he's an experienced Indian player that I'm sure um, a lot of blokes want to get around and, and pick his brain. Obviously, Warney um, we've got as well. So to be around uh, players like that, legends of the game, 
uh, especially for younger players, is uh, this experience you don't get anywhere else in the world for cricket. Yeah. Do you think if you was asked for them, I guess, almost dead after the cup, mate? I don't think so, no. No, not at all. I think, um, I mean, uh, people were talking about that a year ago, and, and I mean, personal experience playing in a series in England, there was packed houses. Uh, there's a lot of hype around 50 over cricket still. I mean, that's uh, going on what I've experienced. I think 50 over cricket is still well and truly a force. You know? Do you think young kids coming up today, do you think they're going to be aspiring players just for cricket or 2020? Because clearly the money's in 2020 now. The money's in 2020, but I think Test Match cricket's going to pay pretty well still. Yeah. Um, I mean, I th look at the Ashes series, the amount of obviously media, the amount of crowd that, that still turn up to Ashes Test Matches is phenomenal. So, Test Match cricket doesn't seem to be sliding to me. Um, 2020 cricket's are obviously, well, it's not new, but it's still a reasonably new thing. It's still building and it's, it's brilliant for the game. Uh, and, and kids watching 2020 cricket will, will definitely want to play it for sure. But, I mean, the way international cricket is, uh, uh, players play all, all three forms still. So um, there's, there's no reason why you have to quit two forms and play one or quit one and play two, you know. So I think if you can keep your body fit and, um, and keep fresh, you can play all, all three forms. Do you think it's affecting techniques or uh, batsmen? I think, uh, I think 2020 has helped it, um, helped test cricket. I mean, some of the shots you see played in test cricket now. Um, if the 2020 cricket wasn't around there, you might not see that. Um, I suppose the argument's there where the players play a bit more loosely nowadays, but it doesn't bother me when I'm involved. So. Uh, someone, someone like Phil Hughes, though, you reckon that's affected him just from watching him? I think Phil Hughes' technique's always been uh, different or unique. Even when he first, first started playing, I remember playing him three years ago in a tournament in a room with him. Uh, before anyone knew his name, and um, he, he batted the same back then. It was the same, his technique was the same. Yeah. Just back on the future of like 50 over cricket, um, do you reckon it, it needs to change? Obviously, we're experimenting in Australia this year um, yeah. with a different format. Is yeah. I haven't played that format yet, I haven't, haven't, haven't played a game, so I can't really, can't really comment about how that's going. Um, but like I said, all I can talk about is the last 50 over game I played was a Lords in front of the packed house. So that's, I mean, that's, that's all I can sort of comment on, yeah. I think it's, it's still going pretty strong. What do you expect is going to be out on time? Well, obviously a pretty handy side. Um, uh, they're 2020, current 2020 world champions. They beat us in the final, so we've, we've got a bit of, uh, a bit of revenge there. Um, so the next two, two games, if we can um, maybe change you know, turn the summer around for Australian cricket as well, would be a, a good opportunity for the 2020 and the one day series to um, give the fans uh, something to cheer about, I suppose. Yeah. And off the bridge, the ship music, man. Yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see what sort of pitch hockey's laid out out here for us. But um, yeah, definitely. I mean, Brett and I will. I mean, we, you know, our jobs to bowl fast. Um, try and bowl the stunts every now and then helps as well. But yeah, definitely both be uh, steaming. Yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. We'll have a, we'll have a, I think probably a lightish training session. Um, yeah.